so there's also like everybody and their brother can kick the horse and make it scoot forward but it isn't about that moment it's about the next moment the follow-up to that you want to train the horse to the lightest aid so that doesn't mean clobbering him with your leg and hitting him with the stick and then that becomes the aid no no you want to get a reaction with your legs way up by the girth because that's the driving spot so if we've got our legs too far back here and we're a little bit lean forward and we're like he's always behind my leg and he won't go forward not only with my seat this far forward i'm blocking him with my pelvis um, like my seat bones are kind of pointed backward a little bit and my leg is like in the rain back position or the piaf position which means gather your pelvis underneath your body so in order to really drive a horse forward we sometimes even say like kick him in the elbow you know and i've got extremely long legs so sometimes i can hear a little elbow on my stirrup bar but you want to be able to really kind of sit in and be ready for that big wave you're going to create when you sort of you know put those two spurs on right by the girth and send that horse forward you're not going to be up here to sort of your legs are driving but your seat is blocking so we have to be able to you know let the horse take us in their swing so we will get into a little canter because also you know when you try to send a horse forward in the trot and they're kind of blocked in their back and they want to like push out with their hind legs and get kind of stiff in the neck sometimes when you try to go forward in the trot they just get longer and more like suspended and more we call it a little bit the hover trot and so because the canter is the most natural gait for the horse and the horse you know it's it's the friend of the horse you know the, the horse builds itself up in the canter whereas in the trot many times it, it breaks itself down more so I, I love to do this work in the canter because once i get the horse really like whew, popped over the back and taking me somewhere he will just sail down that long side uh, nice and forward so i'll get into a little canter and I'll sort of assess, I know I'm still in my warm-up phase, so he's a little bit uh, not up and, you know, high on the, you know, pole high and whatever. So I'm going to, you know, ask a little bit first on this circle. And one of the things I always want to feel like I can do is during the swing phase of my seat, I can sort of lean back a little bit and I'm going to be prepared with my leg. And I'll do it right in here in front of the camera. I'm going to add my leg and then I had to kick him a little bit because it didn't really go there he goes and then the minute he goes I have to take my leg away 